of, of what doesn't always have the spotlight on it, which is why We Fit is such a fitting character for how they want to play. Because We Fit's funky. Yeah. She has all these little funky hurtboxes, hitboxes. She has, um, she can extend her hitboxes with volley with soccer ball. She's a, she's a, she's just, she's almost just as versatile as Steve is why in terms of people. Why do is kill him? Why do is trying to, well, I mean, well, why off, do of, that, that back? off why of that do? early combo, it was like, okay, I got my early combo, and now I'm going to mine card towards you while you're deep off stage like this, and I'm going to try and kill you, and then they kill him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we going ham. Okay. I think one of the most underrated abilities of Steve in so many ways is not just the ability to place platforms, because that, of course, will be upsared, of course. Uh, obscene, but the ability to just choose at any given moment, I want to be grounded, or I want to be in the air. And that is so complex of an idea where you just get to have this will over the game instead of abiding by the game's innate rules, you get to break them at any given point, as long as you have a block or an anvil, which then an anvil offers plenty of other different things. And so, what I just oh, heard wow. is Steve's playing Minecraft. Steven is playing Minecraft. Steve is just playing Minecraft, is what I just heard. And this is exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing a two-stock lead for Waidu. Numbers is scratching his head, a little confused what's going on here. Numbers... That's tough. The, 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 also, the, big, the biggest thing about the stage, I'm not going to talk about the resource because we've been talking about resource management the right. entire time with stage picks, but the position that Steve's going to really want on this stage is the center. You have the platform on top to kind of protect you, a lot, uh, protect you um, just in general, but also you can, you can build walls and have a little house for yourself, a free Minecraft house just for keeping control of center stage. And that's what uh -oh. Waidu is literally doing. This whole combo, 76% started just from being in the center. And we're continuing by keeping numbers off on the ledge with back air. Anvil almost died by your own block, but we, it's okay. And once again, oh, center stage. No. Well, taking control of most of the stage. Grounded. So, so John John made two fatal errors. One, he DI'd in on a Steve Nair out of sheet, or on a Steve like sword aerial out of shield. It defaults forward air and back air default to sword and then pickaxe out of when you jump out of shield with an aerial. And you DI'd in on that, which means it's not a true combo into just the respective aerial, but also into up air, which then converts into full combo. But then you jumped out of shield. And uh, you just kind of, you have to just take this diamond forge match. It is scary. It is incredibly frightening, but Part of what makes the Steve matchup so difficult is discipline under pressure. And John flinched. And he lost. Yeah, the way you word it is just basically perfect. John John oh lost his lost his for, like lost it for a second. Electric coming back on stage. And once again, even though we are on a double plat uh plat stage, why do you still give me one? Deep control of that center stage uh, positioning against Numbers and basically calling out every single recovery option that Numbers has from the ledge. You're gonna to, you're gonna recover some H some HP. All right, watch this. I'm gonna grab you and I'm gonna throw you back to where you think you're comfortable. Just a little like, ooh, I'm, just gonna, I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm, ba I'm baiting you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like gets up every second. Like what are you gonna do? And then goes back down to mine. I would like to see why do threaten underneath the ledge with a little bit more down tilt than just anvil mm -hmm. because it feels like they've been ouch wow big ouch it lasts for a while too yeah it's gonna it's gonna linger there mm -hmm. and especially with the hitbox extension off of the volleyball like that is oof and oh, you and, and they were also expecting numbers to come onto that actual platform and chase him with um How with up there how many rolls has Waidu read in just these two games? Like, it feels like there has been at least four or five rolls that he's punished with up smashes, up tilts, and beyond. That back air shield will at least be something, but Waidu was in a pretty commanding position, but 55% isn't much. That's basically you take one normal Steve combo that's even anyway. Like, it's, you, this is it's the like, Steve tax. It, it's one, it's one we, <laughs> numbers picking the top block and jumping over is so funny. But it's, it's also like just one we, we, we fit deep breathing combo um, off of like fair. Like, you know, like right. dash tack into, into jab, into fair, and things like that, that we fit also can contest with herself. Now, like you were saying, 
trying to go more for those those down toes. I think just just slightly missed time because had that been uh, just a little bit earlier, would have gotten a little bit more off the down tilt with we fit off stage. Nine car off the stage as well. We're keeping numbers just just in the air. We don't want numbers to be on the stage. You don't. That's where numbers somehow somehow starts to really start winning. I think one of the best change-ups that Waidu has thrown at John Numbers in these uh, in these couple games is just being willing to go off stage, not just trying to like throw an anvil there, and not just trying to like throw a down tilt or set up a wall. Like it is, it is the willingness to say, "I'm going to try and spike you with this fair," if a, with a couple under the right context, mm -hmm. which is important. That's so that could have been an up smash, but John deciding to jump away from that, really not trying to deal with this interaction and is in a really commanding position, not getting hit all of that much from when they lost that first stock. Like some TNT tech, yep, there it yeah. is. Don't know how it works exactly, but I know that if you hit uh, the TNT in a certain way with down smash and then you like dodge so, out of so, it. So uh, when you fall off of a block, you're immediately actionable. So mm -hmm. you down smash buffer air dodge. The first hit of only the first hit of down smash comes out, and the air air dodge the TNT detonates. But since you have fallen off of a block, and TNT isn't frame one, you get a chance to air dodge before the TNT hitbox is active. I see. See. Yay. I could never. My fingers are, don't work that fast. It's literally, It's so easy. <laughs> like it's down. It's down smash buffer air dodge. Oh, when you say like that. Yeah, that's it. Down, down smash buffer air dodge. Oh, he got and, him. And, and, and you, you're damageless when that happens. But yeah. Yeah. And I really like how um, both players have been, in general, when playing against Steve, not hopping over his constructions, but just hopping on top of them, uh, both as the Steve and playing against them. Because you can, uh, you get a little bit of that, that extra height and you get to, you get to be, uh, it gives one more option. And any option, any extra option is always going to be beneficial in a character that can be so uh, awkward. And, com and with all of the complexities that you have. But John Numbers choosing to try and pressure with some of these Sun Salutations. Why do not having a ton of shield yeah. here? Why do is being a little more cautious with his shield because I think that Sun Sal did eat up a good portion of it. Doesn't want it to be to possibly be broken by another big Sun Sal. Uh, being baited by his own blocks, actually. Numbers taking the opportunity to use a dash attack and keep Why do off on the stage. Uh, and honestly, Numbers is fiending for center control center stage. That's where numbers is really want to be. The roles have essentially been reversed, and just like that, once more, baiting out with your own blocks. Numbers taking that opportunity to do one more dash attack. Maybe the third one will definitely take the cake. Oh, <gasps> no There's way. no way. There's no way. Not oh with, my. Nah. Not with deep breathing online. No. Not with deep way. breathing. Not with excellent di. Guys, I, I, you've seen numbers is really good di game. I was gonna be upset. But I was gonna be like, no. There's no way that numbers did all this work. At 178, like. Forward throw might take the stock here. You tech, have that tech. tech was life saving. Yeah, TNT still hits ledge there. You gotta get around that like, really basic ledge trap. Okay, good to disrupt oh the goodness. good to disrupt the red, the redstone. But that TNT is gonna detonate back throw, and then dashing away from the TNT. Good just in on case. numbers to keep just active. In just in case. <laughs> the, the the I want to see a, a clip of just how fast numbers just. Whoop away just, from the just TNT. Now, I mean, we get to literally Ooh, see it. Just now, just now. Just get this Grab back throw. 180. Back throw. And then. And then look at this. Immediately. Once you landed. Oh, oh we're rolling. <laughs> she we're turned rolling. away. We're out. We're out. <laughs> like, oh, God. No. Because it hits. It, it would have hit there. I actually, for a second, when I saw the kill screen, I actually thought that um, Waidu was going to land into the TNT. As it exploded, it's a good coverage option that numbers had. Back throw was gonna kill anyway that percentage. I want seventy eight, I think, or something or another. And had that TNT exploded, oh, it's just good coverage all around. So nice on numbers just for that recognition, that ad adaptability, eh, adaptability. Right. And a couple of down tilts started off. It could have been something from Waidu, but instead getting kind of outpaced by deep breathing damage right now. Needs to find one of these up tilts, choosing to prioritize iron tools, which I don't hate. Iron tools are uh, incredibly durable, uh, only slightly less durable than diamonds, yep. and you get uh, you get a solid damage boost. Like I'm, I'm always in favor of Steve Main's skipping stone tools. Stone tools are even worse than wood in a lot of ways mm -hmm. uh, because of the SDI multiplier hurting your combos. Ooh, 85 though, and no iron online. Numbers trying to just overwhelm here without any, with only one iron. You're 
Being we can't do much with that, you know? Yeah. And we might be seeing a, a duplicate of what happened uh, in the first game between, well, when they're back in Winners, where Waidu starts to fumble once he starts running out of materials. We have no iron. At least he had diamond on the table, but unmined at the moment or uncrafted. And all we have are weak wooden and dirt tool or dirt blocks at our disposal. Waidu is just having to mine. Now we have reinforced minecarts at our, now we have re reinforced minecarts at our disposal. Yeah. And of course, oh, gold tools. Catching Waidu, overextending just a little bit with that double jump high and getting a huge punish. Okay. Okay. Uh, you did 12 damage to yourself, but I honestly really appreciate the attempt where you get this parry and you try to go for the full setup. Like, just throw out the TNT, throw out the down smash. Like, be extra with Steve. Use those, uh, the raw material. Converting raw materials into TNT is one of the biggest benefits of a stage like uh, Smashville or Town and City because you get so much wood and so much dirt. I mean, it's a, it's a line full of wood right now. Yeah. I'm looking he, at it. Man is, he's going to build a fence after he cleans John's clock with a diamond pickaxe, assuming he can land one more mm -hmm. of these fairs, bears, or something of the like. Yeah. Again. I also love the, the, the fact that TNT Explosion disguises the start of Down Smash, nice. and you're never really expecting it unless you get hit by it once, and you're like, right. oh my god, that's possible. Yeah. It's just a, this funny visual effects that, that Steve also has to his name, and it just it adds more to what Steve doesn't really need. <laughs> it's one of those uh, fighting game things that uh, that players will really focus on, uh, visual noise. Uh, you'll see yeah. uh, any Piccolo players in Dragon Ball Fighters uh, know that uh, Hellzone Grenade be going dummy. <laughs> Hellzone Grenade goes dummy. Is it just like obscure the screen? Yes. <laughs> That's awful. That should be illegal in fighting games. If I can't see, why am I here? <laughs> Still, uh, Waidu is in a huge hole here for Grand Finals. That fishing rod almost grabbed, but numbers... Oh! With the hardest of reads, we've been... I've been talking about how uh, Waidu has found a ton of roll-in reads, yeah. but numbers... It feels numbers. like he's been saving that for since game for game number six, of which this was. And no, listen, oh. I, I... There's no... No, I know there's a way, because numbers... Whew. Numbers knows that Waidu does roll back a lot. That it's yeah. not on yet. Wait, sorry, you okay? Okay, numbers, numbers is coming back. Numbers, so, numbers, numbers is behind Glory. us watching his own clip. Numbers and his is own his fist own. Bump. There the he numbers is. is his biggest fan. <laughs> Yay! Yay! New York City was defended from the the, from the Long Island Invader. Uh, Waidu falling at second place to yep. Jonathan Q numbers. And you know, not, not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's like you can't play in the Arcadian, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> October first. <laughs> October. First. Well, why do you couldn't already? He made top 32 to major. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> that's great. He's probably also been to like an Aeon and probably got top two yeah, there. I'm, I'm sure. sure. You've been not qualified, I but this is a for Aeon? sure. I don't remember. But yeah, absolutely well played from so many of these players. We saw a lot of just like defensive. Uh, long drawn out game plans yep. getting shown off and a lot of that like a lot of that like extra layers like step one and two of like if you hit me for this then I'm gonna try this mm -hmm. stepping up the ladder and this is how the cookie crumbled with John Numbers winning that game of patience as he normally does. Nah, that up smash, that's crazy. That up smash was pretty that good. That was a crazy That was a pretty smash. good one. <laughs> I told you that Numbers is demented. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, really, for, for, really quick before we go, please follow House on Twitter, on Facebook, on Twitch, on YouTube, everywhere. Please, you can watch Numbers Up Smash uh, Why Do for free at YouTube as fast as much as will allow us to upload VODs. So, come on, guys. Give House some, some love because they do all this stuff for us. Also, weekly, every Thursday, venue $8, entry $7 uh, here at 20 Willow Street, New York, New York, 1002. More information, uh, I think you can sign up for next bracket very soon. So, like, come on. It's, it's fun stuff. And really quick, Apex 2022. Use yes. Zeno. Use code Zeno. We have a code yeah, for code. five dollars off of your registration. So yeah. like, use it because also it probably helps house a lot if you use their code. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Sitting in the heart of Tri-State mm -hmm. in North Jersey, Secaucus, which in is Jersey. super accessible with, uh -huh. from um, basically any train line. If you can get to Secaucus Station, then which you can get from Penn, Penn from Hoboken, from Newark, from. Uh, you can take the path to Hoboken and get mm -hmm. there from it. Like you, the 
the ability to get to Secaucus is extremely accessible, so you can get to Apex 2022 in the hardest tri-state mm -hmm. and save $5 on that registration with the code Xeno for a Smash World Tour gold event. Yes, and it is, of course, on November 18th to the 20th, the week, I believe, before thir before Thanksgiving break. Yes. So we should be seeing y'all have fun with us, your family, and then go to your actual family. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Thanks, why, come with us. So, yeah, that's it. Defend Bye, guys. Defend the North. Defend uh -huh. the North. Oh, defend the North. We got one more. We got one more. Yeah, one more. Defend the North. Defend the North. Come over yeah. October 21st, 23rd, 20 days after the Arcadian. Yes. Uh, another Smash World Tour event. Guaranteed $5,000 pop bonus featuring a suite of games, including uh, Smash Ultimate and uh, Tekken and Street Fighter and DNF Duel, Grand Blue, Guilty Gear, Marvel's Capcom, Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighter. So many good games over in Brooklyn, New York, 153, yes. 26th Street, BK Loft on October 21st through 23rd, streamed mm -hmm. right here on House of 3000. And of course, everything except Smash Ultimate and, uh, oh my god, what are the games? All, all. Anything on cabinet. And, and anything on cabinet or, of course, on PC, so... That's it. That, that's, that's actually it. it. Like, I, like, no, for also, real this also time. sub to house. Yes. I mean, we can hit our goal for today. <laughs> guys, we guys, are we're one, one sub, sub away, away from our goal. One sub away from our goal. Okay. Like, right. let's get some subscribers uh, subscri subscri during, uh, during, during the, the credits. credits. Could be yeah. you. Jinx. Could be you. Could, Could be, be you. The one. Could be right there. Could be you. Could be you. It's free with Prime. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go because yeah. I miss my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my dog. I miss my train, and we're yes! going to have yes, a goodbye. good night. <laughs>
Oh, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't think that I, I missed it. Thank you for the gifted sub once again. I love to see it. Thank you for supporting your local. Thank you for supporting the weekly. Uh, it really helps so much. Like, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, just trying to make sure that there's always, like, a constant flow. Uh, doing all this work for the weeklies. Uh, it's a lot. And, you know, it, it's just one of those things where, you know, uh, this is, this is like the basis for the community. So, really, thank you very much. It also puts us one sub away from our goal, which is also incredible. Like, the fact that all of these things can come together at the same time, uh, and, and, like, it, it's wonderful. So, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're one sub away from our goal. <laughs> 